everybody, give her a big hand, come on. How we doing, Miami? How you doing? Are you excited for Florida Supercon? Come on. You are at the first main stage panel. Give yourself a hand for being here on Friday. You made it. You made it. And what we're so excited, yeah, come on in, everybody. Come on in. We want to hear your voices because voices is actually what we're going to be talking about for the next 50 minutes or so. We're going to be talking about the voices of Genshin Impact. Where are the Genshin Impact folks out here? Come on. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, amazing, an amazing game. You know, since it launched in September of 2020, in its first year alone, it grossed over $3 billion. Can you imagine, can you imagine that? Yes. Three billion in the first year, yeah. Making it the highest grossing video game of all time in its first year launch. And just since this past March, it has now crossed the four billion dollar. Yeah. Well, I'm sure you would love to hear some of the stars of Genshin Impact come up on stage and talk with us today. Yes? All right, and I hope you have some questions out there because we're gonna save some time to bring you folks up to the microphone and ask some questions as well. Wow. You know them in the video game as Venti and Aritaki Ido. We have fans already. I love that. Would you please welcome the voice talents? Give a big Florida Supercon welcome to Erica Harlicker and Max Middleman. Welcome, welcome. Guys, give him another hand. Come on. Well, welcome to Florida Supercon, you two talented Thanks. folks. My uh, goodness. I um, realized I'm, I'm wearing the wrong shoes. Uh, okay. <laughs> they're, they're, the, they're the not stylish ones. And uh, I'm very self conscious about it, so I'm going to call it out now. And the last time I was at a Supercon, someone from the audience yelled, What are those? Vine <laughs> reference. Huh? Vine reference. Oh, and I didn't understand it at oh, the time. Oh, you're so old. And I thought... How <laughs> dare you. <laughs> uh, and I thought they were just um, screaming at me, so... Yeah. So, that's cool. Well, they are... I mean, I just said Arataki Ito, and they were screaming already, sure. you know? Yeah. And Benti here. My gosh. You, you two have had an amazing voiceover careers in your young lives already. I mean... How does it feel to be a part of the highest grossing video game of all time? What is, what is that like? It's weird. It's weird. Yeah. How so? How so? I, well, when I started, when I, you know, started working on it, we worked on it for like mm, a year before it was out. I thought it was just going to be like a little phone game that some people would play. Yeah. Um, and I thought it was pretty. So I was like, that's cool. I like my character. Um, and then it came out. And then it, by like the first weekend, it was insane. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, uh, it absolutely, it, it just took right off, yeah? I mean, and it's gorgeous. The animation is fantastic, right, so everybody? Great. Don't you love it? It's just, it's stunning. And you know, one thing that really stands out to me about it is the music of it, the yeah. score, yeah. right? So good. Oh my gosh, you know, and you know, it was scored by like the London Symphony Orchestra, and the, uh, we had some others in here, uh, the Shanghai Symphony Orchestra, the Tokyo Philharmonic, so, I mean, it just sounds... Have they done, Erica, have they done, uh, I assume you know everything about Genshin Impact, so I turn to you, um, have they done a, um, a tour, like an orchestra live performance tour? I don't think so yet, but I'm hoping that they do. And that's gotta be on the dock. Would you yeah. like that out there, everybody? Would you like that? Yeah. I, went, I, I haven't seen, I hadn't seen an orchestra perform uh, for a long time, since I was a child. And I went to um, Final Fantasy VII had uh, uh, the orchestra tour, and they invited me out, and uh, I was in amazement. I love music, really love music, and I um, used to like my favorite music was orchestra, classical music, and um, it was just incredible. And I, it made me want to go to a bunch of these uh, orchestra events uh, more often. So I hope Genshin does one, because I would love to go. I love the Kingdom Hearts Orchestra. I like always go when it comes to oh, yeah. LA. Yeah. <laughs> um, and one time I went with my husband. He doesn't really know anything about Kingdom Hearts, but he goes because I love it. And he went out 
like to pee or something at one point and then he came back and he was like Erica, Erica, come here. and I guess they just like had empty boxes and he was like, hey, can we like go in here? And the workers were like, I don't know, sure. Empty, like when you say boxes with the seats. Yeah, seats? yeah, yeah. like the box seats. Like, on Is the that side. at the bowl? No. Oh. No. <laughs> no, it was, in, it was in like a theater. And, then, and yeah. uh, so then we went in a private little box for the rest of the show. And I was like, wow, we're so fancy. Oh my God. Ooh, you two are fancy. It was just because he happened to walk by and he was like, is anyone in here? And they were like, no, go in. Yeah, that's very yeah. cool. Ask questions Absolutely. when you go to pee at orchestras. <laughs> well, Erica, you have had, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, the longest connection to Genshin Impact. I mean, you started in it a, a year before it was released. Yeah, how, how did this project come to fruition for you? Um, I got various auditions for various characters, um, and then I didn't get any of them. Uh, I got a call back for Lisa, weirdly enough, she's very different from Venti. Um, and then after the call back, I kind of didn't hear anything for a while. And then the director, Chris Viella, uh, contacted my agent at one point and was like, hey, we want Erica to come in for this character. And I was like, I didn't audition for that character. And he was like, no, you didn't audition for anything that sounds anything like this character. He's a bard boy. And uh, yeah. you can do it. And I was like, cool. Uh, so I just kind of came in and the audition was the first session because I guess they trusted me enough to be like, well, they'll probably cast her. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was great. We worked on kind of developing the voice because he's like an androgynous, you know, god that's really old, but then he's taking the form of this drunken bard boy. And it was. Uh, <laughs> it was fun. It was fun to figure yeah, out what well, you should sound like. Mentioning, uh, you know, working on developing that, I wanted to ask both of you, you know, for your respective characters, do you, in your career, especially with something like Genshin Impact, video game voiceover work, do you often get the ability to uh, contribute to the development of the voice and the character? Or is it far more just listen to the director and then you just give them what they want? It usually starts with the audition. So when you get the audition, there's hundreds of people going after it. Um, and so production will hear all kinds of voices. And if you were um, lucky enough or you know whatever to, to um, do the voice that they had in their mind, then you don't really have to do much when you get to the session. Um, sometimes when you get to the session, they want you to tweak the voice a little bit. And um, that happens pretty quickly in the in the first five minutes of the session and then you set the voice and then you move forward. But um, um, but yeah, because auditions are so extensive, there's there's not too much like uh, creation of the voice in session. Sure, sure. But for each of you, when you, you got the part and you went in for the session at that point or even previously to, were you able to see the animation of your character beforehand? No. Oh, no. So if you're really creating something yeah. out of nothing. You yeah. know, you're, in, vid in video games, for the most part, you're doing it all um, before you see any finished product. And in animation, if you're doing original animation, then you're doing it, uh, same thing, before the finished product, but there's a portion of it, there's like 10%, which happens in, uh, it's called ADR, additional dialogue recording, and that's when you see the finished animation, and then you're filling in some additional stuff. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of times for video games and animation, I mean, animation, they haven't even created the character a lot of times because they're basing it on you and your which performance, is cool. which is cool. Yeah. Uh, but for video games, yeah, like I didn't see a, even a picture of Venti until I went in. Uh, and then they were like, this is him. And I was like, wow, he's beautiful. And they were like, yeah. <laughs> totally different than what uh, I thought. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, a lot of times for auditions, they just send a description, but they don't actually show us. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Now, you both have done uh, a lot of, obviously, video game work and anime voiceover work, uh, usually doing the English dub of the previous, the Japanese voice. Uh, do either of you, you know, as you're approaching an English dub of a character, do you get inspired by the vocal quality of the original Japanese actor? Just kind of curious on that. Yes. Well, kind of. Yeah. Uh, if they send the audition and they send a vocal reference, of the original Japanese, that tells me that they probably want it to be at least similar. Mm. Um, so I at least pay attention to like the pitch and like the breathiness of the character. Um, I don't try to like sound exactly like them. No, the you're same, giving your own. The take same on it. flavor as them. If they send an audition and they 
don't send a vocal reference at all, um, then I feel like I have a little more freedom to just kind of go with what I think the character would sound like. Yeah, how about you? How about you, man? Same, same thing. Um, yeah, for a lot of the characters, um, you know, sometimes we're lucky enough to where the production doesn't really, um, uh, doesn't need to be too attached to the Japanese or, or um, uh, whatever the performance is, the original performance. So you're able to just sort of um, uh, do your own thing. And that was the case for, if you guys are familiar with a game called Persona 5, um, Woo! Yeah. I did a character named Ryuji. What? You're uh, Ryuji? For real? For real? Yes. Can we hear a little bit? Are you just did. There we go. <laughs> um, and uh, for that, uh, I didn't, I don't think they, they may have played the Japanese one time. Gotcha. And 99.99999% uh, of that game was just m me doing a thing that I thought was fun. Yeah. And uh, turned out pretty good, I thought. So and I don't think they played the Japanese voice for On at all. Yeah. And I, I didn't hear her until the game was already out. Yeah. And people were like, here's the scene in Japanese, and yes. here's the scene in English, which is better. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> I hate that, but OK. <laughs> both great. Yeah, they're both good, I think. I tried. Yeah, do you get, do you get excited to hear your voice? And uh, are you both gamers? Uh, there's a question for you. Yeah, I play video games. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I love, I love hearing my own voice. <laughs> it's great. Yeah. Um, no, it's uh, it's it's always. I think it, there's always a part of it that's a little surreal. It was just this morning. I was um, <laughs> I did a uh, small part in a movie called. The Sea Beast, which is out today on Netflix. Woo! Nice. Yeah. Um, and I was just watching a little bit before I got to the convention, and because uh, I hadn't seen or heard any of it yet, and um, I just saw my character scream from the you know the top of a ship. He fell down and screamed on his way down, and I went. Um, I was all giddy about it because <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, "That's me! <laughs> awesome!" And, and you'd think at this point I'd be like over it, or like I'd be used to it. But I still see some stuff, and I, I get so so happy, you know? That's, awesome. that, yeah. that's great, that's great. Uh, what, do you, what do you hope from your contribution to a game like Genshin Impact, and you know, your, your contribution to the many characters that are in its universe, what do you hope that the gamers out there in the audience are taking away from your performance? What do you hope? I just hope it brings people joy. Yeah. And my character... Gosh, and we need that, right? We need all yeah. this joy, yeah? <laughs> yeah, and, and a lot of people, I know, just because people um, at these conventions, I am able to talk to a lot of the people who play the games, and they tell me how much the game means to them, and, and my character, and, um, you know, if they're going through something when they play the game, it, 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 it's really, um, it means a lot to people, and yeah. it's really cool to hear that, and it, it's, um, it's, a, it's just a, it's a perk. It's not necessarily why I do this, or why I started doing this job, but uh, the more I learned about it, the more, <laughs> it's, I try not to think about that when I'm recording, because then I get a little too... Um, in your head about it. In, in my head, but, but more specific about the take. Like, I want it to be a perfect take. I want it, everything to be, I've always, I'm a perfectionist, so I've always wanted, my um, uh, takes to be perfect. And a lot of times, type A's in the house? Type A's, anybody? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so a lot of times. Also with Genshin, they, like, you guys listen to our lines individually over and over again, I've yeah. noticed. And you know what? I, I, <laughs> oh, really? Oh, I, God. I, I yeah, yeah, knew yeah. that going into it. Oh, so, oh yeah. I had, you a, had the right? I had the advantage, the benefit of um, uh, the game already being out for a year. So I was able to. Um, craft those lines uh, exactly the way I wanted them um, to some extent. There's, there's, you know, you're, you're under a time, um, what's it called? Not a crunch. Limit. Limit. <laughs> yeah. So I could only do so much, but yeah. Cool. Yeah, same. I, uh, I love uh, being venti and I, I genuinely really love the game. Like I'm AR 54 now. And I stream the game. Yes, well, thank you. Yeah. What's your um, favorite part of the game? Everything. Yeah. I love it. Everything specific? I mean, me. No. Wow. Well. Uh, well, I do main myself. Yeah. But. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, I just. That, the, I mean, that's cool. Yeah. That's cool. I just did the drum of it with. Oh, you did the, the drum along? Yeah. 
Oh, I want to play that. It was fun. It it's ends, a rhythm game. It ends like today, oh. so you can't play it. It ends today? <laughs> no. Open your phone. I think it ends today. It might have already ended. Oh, it ended a week ago. Oh, no. Ito's, oh. Ito's banner ends today, I think, oh, is what I want. Okay. Oh, you guys, also, I don't know anything. They've got the schedule. I they know that. These folks down Basically, here. Max will not get to the point where he's allowed no. to play this. I can't over. believe it. I would have borrowed it. someone. You should have. It was really fun. I was bad at it, but I passed anyway every time. So. I like that. You should have. It was fun. Yeah, it was fun. Oh, it was fun. Oh, well. Uh, you were funny. Was yeah. I? Yeah. Does it do, do, I was going to say, does I beatbox? In <laughs> I don't think you beatbox, because you, okay, so we go and we meet your character, and you're like, oh my god, a festival, <laughs> even though no one wants us to have a festival, woo! And then we're like, all right, this is a tiny island, and then you're like, okay, have fun, bye, and then you leave for like the entire drum of it. And then now I'm playing drums with your friends, and then eventually they're like, he's arrested! And then the oh, event's over. I'm not even there for it. <laughs> no, you're gone. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, it was, it was fun. Awesome. You should have played it. I should have played it. Next I'm time. A, next time. I'm going to rub it in. You got to start playing so that next time you have an event, you can, like, do it. Uh, you just outed me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That's right. Not that you I haven't played, played the game. game. I haven't played the game. Play. But listen, as I told Erica, if I played the game, I would have no more voiceover career because I would have no time for anything else. It's very Because addictive. I have an addictive personality. Yes. And this is what happens when I play games like this, is I uh, stop living my life. <laughs> this is why, this is, my husband always wants me to play World of Warcraft, and I'm always like, I can't play World of Warcraft oh God, because no. I will do nothing else. Oh God, no. Um, I, I love the I've, I've managed to find a good balance, but... Uh, it's yeah. really, yeah, it's really fun. There's no, there's no balance in my life. It's either all the way over uh, yeah, here yeah, yeah. or yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. extremes. Yeah. So you, you both love the game. You both play the game. Uh, and clearly we've got folks that know the schedule of everything out yes. here. This is wonderful. Yes. Uh, any secrets that, you know, from gameplay that you've come up with that you thought, oh, this is something I've discovered and maybe you could share it with the audience. Anything from gameplay that you've discovered? Be good. Don't die. Yes. Uh, Isn't that great advice? Yeah. Yes. My biggest, Put that on a t-shirt. My biggest hindrance in the game is climbing because I'm so impatient. And I'll be like running full speed and then I'll start climbing because I don't want to wait for this, the you know stamina bar to go up. And then of course I die because I fall and I fall to my death and it's very upsetting. Um, and yeah. then I do that over and over again because I never learn. So, so pace yourself yeah. is what you would say, pace Have yourself. more patience than me. Yeah. Also, I'll run full speed towards the edge of a cliff and be like, I'm gonna glide. And then I run out of stamina right before I jump off and I never check um, and then I die, so. <laughs> Max, yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, if I had a nickel for every time that happened to me in game, that yeah, yeah. Uh, would be... All the hours that you spent. A lot of nickels. Next time, okay, next time there's an Ito event, I'll have you come on my stream. There's so never going to be it. a better Ito event I know, than the one really fun was. I was a fun one. If I'd known <laughs> that you didn't know it was out and that you wanted to see it, I would have had you on when I started. Oh, man. It. Well, well, I mean, there must be a lot of, you know, love for, for Ito if, you know, the whole event was for him, you know, so, or for part of it. Uh, what do you love most about Ito? I don't. Oh. <laughs> no. Good night, everybody. I'm kidding. Ah. I'm joking. How dare you? Um, I love that he's a goofball. Uh, he's just, he's just a big himbo. Yeah. And, uh, and I love him for it. Every time I hear Ito in the game, I always start dying laughing. And I'm like, this is such a max role. It's just exactly. I'm so, I feel so fortunate that I got that role. It is, it is, roles like that, Ryuji and Ito, those kinds of guys are so fun. So fun to play. Especially when you have productions that let you play. And um, Chris, the director, Faela, and uh, the team over at... What are they? Hoyovers now? Mihoyo. Mihoyo. Do they call themselves Hoyovers now? No, no. That's Mihoyo. Oh, Hoyovers. <laughs> yeah, the I know. The team over there. At, they clearly keep us up to date. At the Hoy. Uh, <laughs> is, uh, is really kind in, in, in that they, they give me the freedom to play. And um, that's great from an actor's point of view, right? Just you know, have fun it with is. it and they'll grab it's the, the best, best stuff. Again, Again, like um, Ryuji, uh, I don't have to hear somebody else's performance and match it e exactly. And that 
that is why the character is who he is. That's why he's able to be who he is, and I think why a lot of people like him is that I'm able to eject a lot of my own sort of um, personality and, and uh, your addictive personality, yeah. to it, right? <laughs> addictive personality. Yeah, yeah. Into Ito. Yeah. yeah, it's it's nice that they let us have a little bit of fun. Uh, there was one. The I'm really holding the microphone like this. Yeah, this is the weirdest. I'm I'm ready for you to like beatbox right looks now. Like broken. I got the, the claw grip. Yeah, I don't know what you're doing, but it's, it's well, I interesting. Know what, it, I know what it is. As much as I love this. There you Whoa, go. Whoa, but now we won't know where we are. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. We got, we got, oh, uh, where are we? Oh, uh, um, but yeah, I did, so for the Windbloom Festival, I think that's what this was for, uh, there was like a poetry event, um, and it was, Venti was teaching people poetry because, you know, you know. and uh, he's a great teacher, and um, there was one part where Kaya wrote a poem, and it had some Hilly Cherlian in it. <laughs> what did you say? Hilly Churlian? I don't know what wow. is the sound you of that is happening. You don't even know what Hilly Churlian is? I no. can't, I can't be, I can't believe you're up on this stage I right now. I don't understand. They've never had Ito say whatever you just said. Hilly so. Churls are these creatures that you fight in the engine. Hilly Churls. Yes, Hilly and Churls. And it's Hilly Churlian is Hilly the language. Churlian. What yes. a fun word. Yeah, <laughs> but, so the director, Chris, we were going through it, and I was like, do you want me to say it kind of like, you know, like a hilly troll? And he was like, actually, Venti is like, you know, an ancient god, so he would potentially like know all the languages, so maybe he would say it in a hilly Trillian dialect. And the hilly Trillians speak, uh, like, me, Mahuya. So that's what we did. Wait, wait, can we have that one more time? One more time? Me, Mahuya. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah. that's what we did for the poem. You know, I was like, me mahuya means I love you. And then none of the other voice actors for any of the other languages did that. They all did like, me mahuya means, like all uh, pretty and beautiful. Yeah. And I'm just like, ah, gremlin. <laughs> um, but I thought it was very funny and everyone seemed to agree. So yeah, um, it was fun. I had a, uh, that reminded me, I had a, a Hebrew teacher. I learned Hebrew for four years in high school. And I had a Hebrew teacher who was from South Africa and uh, spoke fluent Hebrew, but would not do the Hebrew R, which is in the back of the throat. And I, me being an overachieving 14 year old, uh, was like, I would speak with the R in the back, so I'd be like, uh, and uh, she stopped me in the middle of class. She went, how do you do that? How do you do that? I don't understand. How do you do that voice? Uh, and I was like, I don't know, I'm just doing a thing. And then from that, that day on, uh, everyone made fun of me and I stopped doing it. <laughs> what? A little yeah, did they Everyone know. in the class was like, you're a try hard. And I was like, it's a language, bro. Yeah, well, and you're the one who went on to do like voices for a living, so. Exactly. Exactly. Was that the beginning of your voiceover career? That yeah, Hebrew? That, no, actually. That almost uh, prevented you from your voiceover career. That's they made fun of you. I know. Um, I have so much trauma. <laughs> an event. Um, no, the beginning of my voiceover career was probably on Xbox Live. <laughs> where I pretended... I can't tell from that audience if they loved it or not. When you said that, they were like, oh, we'll see. They, they know class. something's coming. No. If you <laughs> played Xbox Live uh, way back when, and uh, you were on Halo. Yeah. Of course, of course. It was two. Halo. Claps Halo are two. growing. This is good. Um, I was. What do they call them? Squeakers. <laughs> they, yeah. Uh, what? Yeah. What's you not. You have her. It's a. It's a small child who uh, who uh, is very annoying on a live. Um, I actually feel like it's a. Uh, it's not a great term, but um, I was one. <laughs> so. Um, and uh, my point is, I would try and convince people that I was from other countries <laughs> by doing accents over Xbox Live. And yeah. it got to a point where I was so committed to it that um, people initially, because I was terrible at the accent, they were like, you're not from England, you're not from England. And I'd be like, well, that shows how much you know. <laughs> and they'd, and then, like, literally like 20 minutes into it, they'd be like, okay, are you? Wait, but, wait, are you from? And then I your can't. Hebrew teacher came in and went, how did you do that? How did you do that? How did you do that? I didn't understand. <laughs> so that's, that's also a terrible South African set. <laughs> Sorry, that's more New Zealand. Wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah, my Australian husband says that my Australian attempts are always New Zealand. <laughs> New Zealand's just easier it's to do. Easier. It's like more nasal. Yeah. 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 
Do you have a favorite accent to do, or one that you dread in voiceover work when uh, an audition comes across? You're like, oh, all no. of them. I don't really. Accents aren't my favorite thing. Yeah, they're tough. Uh, yeah, they're tough because you want, you know, from an actor, you want it to be legit. And, exactly. Yeah, and I get really nervous yeah. that people are gonna be like, "That's not what the accent is," and then be mad at me forever. So. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Like in Persona, I was supposed to do a bad British accent, and I was like, awesome. That's perfect. I can do that. I'll watch Dick Van Dyke and Mary yeah. Poppins. Yes, yeah. I can do it. She was supposed to be bad acting with a bad British accent, and I was like, perfect. This <laughs> My is the time is here. Yeah, I'm very excited. That's great. Um, but yeah, uh, I used to, um, earlier on in my career, I was in this uh, uh, animated show that like nobody saw. Um, but in the show, the main characters were kids and they would kind of like go to different countries each episode and so they would bring me in as like the the guest characters for like a lot of the episodes. They were just like, Erica can do it, whatever. Is this Carmen San Diego? No. Oh. This was the Secret Millionaires Club. Oh, I heard about the that. The Warren Buffett cartoon. Man, where he the Warren taught Buffett children cartoon. about finance. Yeah. Nobody saw it, which is good because I was not good in it. Uh, but they would bring me in and I had like barely started and they'd be, they wouldn't tell me anything about where it was. And they'd be like, okay, so uh, you can do a Scottish accent, right? And I'd be like, uh, no. And they'd be like, oh, well, just, just try your best anyway. Um, and it was uh, not Scottish for sure. Um, and my husband, my now husband, we weren't together yet. We were just friends. But he worked at that studio and he saw the video and he made fun of me for like a week. So he was like, that was horrible. It what did you awful. do? What, I don't what, even remember. What was the accent? Oh, it was just garbage. Do a little bit. Do a little bit. Uh, There's no judgment here. We, we already know. Scottish is Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> Lassie. Whoa, that's good. Yeah, I know. I'm really good at it. Erica, are you from Scotland? Wow. Hey, uh, you born in Glasgow? Uh, my mom's a bear. Whoa. <laughs> Someone get some haggis on this stage. Ah, yeah. Ready. I know, I'm, I blend in very well. So imagine <laughs> me 10 years ago when I was even worse. Um, it was awful. They also wanted me to play like a 40 year old Listen. mom and I was like 20 at the time and I was like, okie dokie. It was awful. We all have those, <laughs> those awful. rules. Yeah. That uh, yeah. Where yeah. we. But they did that to me every week. They, I eventually learned to start asking them. And I was like, okay, you want me to come in in an hour? Where are we going? And they're like, Sweden. And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> I at least practiced a little. You watched a little Swedish chef. I did. And then I got there and they didn't tell the other actor that we were in Sweden. And so they were like, Erica, can you teach him? And I was like, good thing I watched a YouTube video an hour ago. <laughs> You're like, I got I'm this. I'm an expert in Swedish. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I think it was Bryce, actually. I think Bryce Pappenbrook was the other person. If I'm remembering correctly. I'm, I, I'm pretty sure it was him. And he was like, where are we going? And I was like, Sweden. <laughs> nice. Well, uh, how many, uh, you, you guys, lo you're loving them so far, right? Come on. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Come on, the addictive personality. It's amazing. Yeah, it's, amazing, it's so right? relatable. Uh, <laughs> any advice for those out there that may want to someday start going down this voiceover career path? How, how do you get started in it? Don't. How do you fall in? Don't do Don't it. Don't do it. Stay well, away. Well, no, hold on, hold on, hold Here's on. I advice. looked at both of your resumes, you know, via, you know, Wikipedia, trusted source. But you you both have oh, done Oh, God, you looked at my Wikipedia. Do you oh. know how much fake stuff there is on my Wikipedia? Oh, I'm sure. I'm it sure. says It says something that I'm from German descent <laughs> and that I, I descend, Tell us about descended that. from Holocaust survivors. What? Oh my gosh. No on all of it. Wow. No to all. Oh my God. It is, That's uh, very intense. I don't know who's making this stuff up <laughs> on my Wikipedia. But... They, all of my like Wikipedia stuff, they insist I have more dogs than I do. I only have one dog. But everyone insists that I have multiple dogs, and I'm like, that's fine, that's okay. You can here's that. here's the advice. Yeah, uh, go to a website called I Want to Be a Voice Actor com. That's a website created by a very prolific voice actor named D. Bradley Baker. He's done some really cool characters like Klaus in American Dad and uh, Appa and Momo in Legend of what in Airbender. Legend of Last. Oh, are you gonna say Legend the, of Korra? Yeah, no, the Last no, Airbender. Last Airbender. Um, and he does, he does Disney oh. so much. Yeah, he's everywhere. Um, he is the kindest man, and he was so kind to put together this amazing resource, which is absolutely free. And he spent, he's dedicated so much time 
and effort into putting together this website, which details every single step you need to and can take to be a voice actor. That would be my advice. Also, yes. take acting classes. Also, yes. if you want to develop your range of voices, um, uh, mimic things, mimic cartoon characters, mimic um, friends and family members, and all sorts of stuff, and you'll develop your own voices. That's you know what, that's what yes. you were doing, you know, in school, which you were you know, just coming up with, that's just, right. you know, yeah, you're just copying and yes. just trying to come up with voices and make people laugh, and yeah, mm -hmm. that's how Clearly it everyone loves it, and they won't make fun of you. Um, no, it, uh, yeah, I, I uh, whenever I'm in the car, because we're in LA, there's a lot of traffic, I just like randomly do voices and come up with nonsense scenes, just to try and develop stuff, it's fun, but yeah. I used to practice with my friends back in, you know, college and high school, just, I don't know, we would do like little dumb radio plays. We thought we were really good. We were awful. Um, but, yeah. but in all seriousness, it starts somewhere, right? You yeah. Know, so it's practice, if it's something that you're passionate about, you're practicing it, record it, listen to it back, <laughs> how would you change it, yeah. right? Yeah, just practicing. It's like a muscle. It's practice. Mm -hmm. It's all practice. Yeah, but like, yeah, even like theater classes, anything related to acting, that'll all teach you like a basic stuff, like how to take direction, how to understand scripts, oh no, how to drop things on the ground. Um, and uh, yeah, I always just say to take acting classes. That's also how I got on audition lists originally, before I had an agent, because I would just take acting classes and then they'd remember me sometimes and be yeah. like, oh, do you want to yeah, do that, that's often how the business works, you know, yeah. it's just who you end up meeting and who you know. When they say it's a, who, it's a business of who knows you, right? All who you know, it's very true. But very, even very if true. you know, like, even if you know people, I, even friends, like, I don't recommend them unless I've seen them work. So that's why classes were great, because we would, like, actually witness work. each other working. Right. So I could be like, I like them, and also I know that they can do what you need them to do. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So Erica, one last question for you before we get to some Q&A here. Uh, so Genshin Impact, uh, they've been asking you to stay on this project for how much longer? I was told when we started to expect to come in for five to 10 years. Yeah. How, how exciting is that, yeah? So, so we're looking to possibly five to 10 years of content. Theoretically, there is no like, you know, official anything, but, no, there, but that was a, a guesstimate when I started. And I thought it was like a little phone game, so I was like, what? Okay. And now it's out, and I'm like, oh, I get it. Yeah. That's really cool. Um, but I'm hoping they do more uh, Venti storyline yeah. stuff. Um, yeah? I mean, he has so many years of experience that I feel like it would be cool to get into. Um, yeah. And that's what's cool about these games is that they can just keep adding to them and start, you know, it's almost like... It, Almost like Star Wars, where they can keep adding to the canon. Yeah. And like, which way can we go with it, right? Yeah, and well, and it. a lot of times, so the on the character screens, they have, like, you can go through the voice lines. Yeah. And a lot of times when they introduce new characters, they'll have us come in to record our characters' thoughts about the new characters. So I'll just go in for a session that's like, oh, Ito? I don't know him. It's like random <laughs> stuff about Ito. That's fun. <laughs> <laughs> and then your teacher comes go, how did you do that? Have you had to do any of that yet? Any of the... Uh, the special program? No, no. Any of the voice no, lines about the other characters? I don't know what you're characters? talking about. I'm just really? smiling. Really? <laughs> Ito doesn't have opinions on anyone? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, he will. Maybe. Oh. I don't know. But Ito seems like he doesn't really care about anybody else, so... Yeah. yeah. Except Dushi. Yeah. Except Dushi. Aww. <laughs> Pop quiz, who's Ushi? <laughs> you tell me, man. You tell me. She is an adorable, lovable bull. And Aww. as they friend. often and are. He's my best friend. Oh, Aww. love that. And closest confidant. Aww. And tell him all my secrets. Aw, that's a little sad. <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> bring, out, bring down the mood. You have a whole like troop of friends and you're like, get out of here. My bull is my best friend. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't value people, I value You're in the bulls. corner just like telling secrets to Ushi. Yeah. Like, oh, Ushi, and they come up. Like, Get out of here! <laughs> Between my, me and Ushi. He's my diary. I write, <laughs> I, write diary? My, I write my thoughts out loud. He keeps them what? forever. What? <laughs> like a vault of secrets. Yeah. Because he can't talk to anybody else. Nobody else understands him except for me. Oh. 
he's like, mm. what if someday there's like an archon that speaks to animals? Then you'll be oh. screwed. Oh. All your secrets will be out. Ah, crap. Oh, no. Do you think Ushi's gonna spill the beans? He might! No pun intended on my secrets? Yeah, he might. <laughs> Not he might be ever. just he's screaming. He would, them. he would never. Every time he moves, it's a secret, but nobody knows. Uh, <laughs> they can't understand cow. Could be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> so, so, no, you're fine. I, I love just want to listen to you. Shall we take some questions from yeah, the audience? Yeah, that's exactly what we're yeah. going to do now. So we have two microphones, everybody. We have one over here and one over here. So if you have a question. Oh my god, Claire Ether Corbett. and Lumine are sitting together. They found each other. That's stand amazing. up. Go ahead, stand up. Go oh ahead. Look at that. Do you know who Ether and Lumine are? Yes, I are do. I want to make sure you knew that much. Yay, twins. Oh, really? Like real life siblings? That's the cutest thing ever. Oh my god. I love it, love it. Does anybody have any questions? Yes, go ahead and go yes. right to that, qu that microphone. Go ahead. What's your name? I'm V. You can, v, you can move it down. You can move it down okay, for okay. yourself. Thank you. Yay! <laughs> Come on over if um, you have a question. Also, I'm really sorry to Erica for like the high five trick earlier. I'm sorry. <gasps> yes, V did a too slow to me. And it was very, the betrayal, it was so much. My husband does that to me all the time. So. Okay, uh, but what I wanted to ask is, how do you think your characters would interact if they met each other in the game? Oh, that's a good question. Oh. Drinking. Do you, does Ito drink? Ito? Uh, yeah, doesn't he? He wants that drink from uh, yeah. the, the thing. Like alcohol, though? Uh, that's a great question. Because <laughs> I feel like they'd be good drinking buddies I, if Ito like that. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And, oh, they would be great because Ito could beatbox while Venti plays the liar. Oh, right? That would be cool. Oh my gosh. Okay, break out the liar. Let me. Let's do it right now. Yeah, right. Wait, but we should like ask Hoyo verse, not me, Hoyo. Yes. Yeah. Maybe we'll look into this. You look into it. You look into it. Sick question. Oh, right over here from the sisters. So, what is a boy? Just a boy. Sorry, 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 sorry. We were wondering if you guys could try to do one of each other's lines. Try to do each other's lines. Alright, All right, you do my happy birthday beatboxing line. <laughs> Come on! You have to, to say it for me though. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Oh, oh, oh. Happy birthday to you. Oh, oh, oh. Happy birthday, dear Erica. Happy birthday to you. That's awesome. Now you go. Wow. One, okay. two, three, and go. And... <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Max. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> yeah. Get it up. All right, what's a good one for you? Um, 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 um. What? <laughs> yeah, sure. All right, so wouldn't gliding be faster? Let it go. <laughs> <laughs> Am I supposed to do it in your voice? Yeah. What? Do it again. Wouldn't gliding be faster? Wouldn't gliding be faster? <laughs> <laughs> ah, you come over my job. Pretty All right, good. wait, wait, wait. I do a Mimahoya. Means I love you in the language of the hilly churls. Mimahoya. <laughs> means I love you in the language of the chili billies. <laughs> Over here. Hi, what's your name? Hi, my name is Layla. Hi, Layla. Oh, hi. I first just want this is a question for Erica, but I did want to say Ito's my favorite character. But I sent my mom a picture of your shoes and she was wondering what brand they are. They oh. are they are bathing apes? Bapes? I believe Bapes. they're I asking them. me. They were. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they were. Um no, I love them. I got them in London. They were in the awesome. men's they're section. Super cute. And, and I said, I want those. And I got them. And, I love it. and my <laughs> shoes are Asics. Wow. <laughs> you were an Asics, Asics too? Yeah. Boom. Whoa. Boom. Yeah. Boom. Thank you. Awesome. Right over here. Hi, what's your name? Hey, what's up? I'm Finn. Hey, Hi. Finn. Hey, Ben. So I was wondering if um, this could go to anyone, any of you three. Uh, if you were a tiny wizard in a wizard tower, what kind of magic would you have? <laughs> Does it have to be a tiny wizard? Oh, yeah. You have to be like this big and you have to have a hat that's like and the tower is how and the tower is how tall. Yeah, good the tower is like extremely tall. Extremely like, tall, like, but really small body. wizard. 
this than is, this is not Big an experience I understand because I'm very tall. So yeah. I can't really imagine what that would be like to be short. You know, just like, Why don't you go first? Oh. <laughs> okay. What would my magic be? Uh, I would make everybody else really small. <laughs> I'd be like, you are now mini me. You are mini me. Give them a little zap. I'd, I'd zap everybody and make them uh, the size of a cheese it. I would um, have the power that... Because I'd be a spiteful wizard. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> I'd be angry, and so I'd be a spiteful wizard. Right, yeah. I like it. Or maybe I wouldn't be spiteful, and I just want a community. Aw, that will be nice. That you rule over. Same thing, though. I'd still make people really small. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. But I'd be like, yeah, now you're part of my weird, messed up community. <laughs> Um, I would have the power that, um, uh, that one, uh, experiment Stitch's cousin has in the, the, uh, Lilo and Stitch show, where he just makes sandwiches. Um, but I would do that with magic, so. You would make sandwiches with magic? Yeah, like I'd wave my hand and then any sandwich <clears throat> would be there. But the really good, That's like delicious. That's cheating. Why? Because it like, is. Cheating with the question or cheating with sandwich making? Because if it's so easy to make a sandwich, do, 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 would you really... Easy. Have you made a sandwich? With, with magic. Oh, with magic. Would you really enjoy it? Yes. At that point? I'd How could more. you? Half of the fun of eating no. is the effort that goes into it. Yeah. Disagree. Oh. Half the reason... See? They no. agree with me. Half the reason I don't cook. Because I'm like, this is so much but effort. But when you do cook, how much I hate it. Oh. No, I'm always like, this is taking 45 minutes, and I'm going to eat it for five minutes. I hate this. Yeah. Um, My so, friend Jersey yeah. Mike would really love to make <laughs> me sandwiches anytime. Well, I would just, yeah, I want media sandwiches. Like, delicious media sandwiches, sandwiches, too. I thought you said media sandwiches. Meteor. Meteor, meteor sandwiches. sandwiches. Meteor sandwiches. Yeah. That's my power. All I'm going to make meteor sandwiches. Yeah. 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 Meteor yeah. yeah. Outer space. Lady on turkey, on tofurkey, on Yeah, we've spent ham. 17 Impossible. minutes on this question alone. <laughs> you did. It was a good question. Thank you, Finn. Thanks so much. We'll Thank take you. another question over here. Thanks, Finn. Thank Hi, what's your name? Hi, my name is Sarah, and I wanted to know, are you guys particularly friends with any of the voice actors or actresses on Genshin Impact? No, we hate all of them. <laughs> good question! <laughs> yes, the voice yes. acting community is very small, mm -hmm. and we... Uh, tend to see each other, well, <laughs> we used to, uh, see each other in studios yeah. a lot. Um, yeah. But uh, we all kind of know each other, and it's pretty cool. And I like most of them. <laughs> yeah. all of them. Yeah. Most all of them. them. Yeah. All of them. Um, no, yeah, yeah, I try to, I've been trying to set up, like, cast parties for the Genshin cast, because there are a lot of them that I actually hadn't met before, because the game came out during the pandemic. So yeah. normally did, I would have met them at like a cast party, but we never. Did you them. either of you record your vocals for Genshin at home? By was there any? Nowadays, of, yeah. Yeah, are you doing a lot when of that? When it first started, it was all in studio, obviously, because I recorded before the pandemic for most of my stuff. Yeah. But yeah, ever since uh, the pandemic hit, I record from my home booth. All of my dialogue has been recorded from my home booth. Yes. There you go. There you go. But cool. yeah, I uh, I like getting together with them. They're they're very fun. But then I got stupid COVID before the last cast party that I put together and I spent months on it and then I couldn't go. So I FaceTimed in and I was like, I hope you're all having a good time. Bye. And uh, yeah, it was a bummer. Should we, should we hit this lightning, this lightning round? Ooh, lightning round? <laughs> I was I like, wanna lightning round. Yeah, I let's do get it. through everybody. All right, all right here we go. go. Fast questions, ready, go. Uh, Soldier King Poet is one of my favorite cover songs that you did and I was wondering if you would ever do any more as Venti. Yes! I love, thank you so much. I love singing, especially as Venti. Um, I just need to get them all approved. So um, I'm hoping to do more of that kind of stuff in the future. Fantastic. Next. Uh, Max, do you know if you're going to be playing Lushu again in the Kingdom Hearts series? I don't know. I would love to, but Lushu was revealed to be somebody else. <laughs> yeah, that's... <laughs> that was so, a bummer. Yeah, that was a, that was a surprise for, I think, literally everyone. Um, you. Hey, you're going to be playing this character for the rest of time. Just kidding, it's not you anymore. When that reveal happened, I went, oh, poor Max. Oh. <laughs> oh. How do you relate to your characters? How do um, we relate to our characters? Yeah. I love music, and that's yes. <laughs> I hate beans, and that's yes. <laughs> there you go. Uh, no, no, that's not true. I, I like beans. Uh, <laughs> Uh, how do I relate to my character? I'm a, a goofball, like, uh, I was gonna say like Ryuji. <laughs> like um, Ito, so that's how I relate. 
Cool. Hi. Hello, my name is Matthew. And Hi. if for this for Erica, if you didn't have the liar for your instrument, which instrument would it be? Uh, uh, for some reason, I get kind of like piano vibes from Venti, but that's a lot harder to carry around. So I think that's why he goes for the liar. Yeah. Cool. Hi, my name is Jade. Um, I have a question about motivation. I am wanting to get into the video game industry and voice acting and everything like that, and I have a hard time keeping myself forward in that and believing that I can actually do it. And so I know that everyone goes through hard times and it's a struggle for everyone, and so I just want to know how you guys personally deal with that and keep yourselves motivated through voice acting. Do you know who Gary V is? Mm -mm. Who, who knows who Gary, raise your hand if you know who Gary V is. Um, Gary V is like a motivational speaker, entrepreneur guy, and he always says, because ah! <laughs> he's got a really high voice, ah! he goes, ah, stay grateful, man, stay grateful. Uh, being grateful is uh, a, a tip, it's not always the answer. Um, I don't know, how do you stay motivated? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, especially as actors, I think we all go through um, very high highs and very low lows because you're constantly in a very emotional state and there's a lot of rejection, you know, like you audition for a bunch of stuff and never hear back. They don't tell you if you don't get it, so it's just you're goose ghosted. For you're goosed. Heaven. You're goosted. Um, <laughs> uh, your goose is cooked. Uh, so it is hard. I try and focus on, yeah, the, the little things that I really enjoy. Like when I'm doing auditions, I find it really fun to just play around. Um, I try to also do my own personal projects uh, to yeah. keep myself feeling like creatively motivated in general. Um, you gotta love it. Yeah. Like you, gotta you gotta really, really love it. Really, yeah. really, really, really love it. When I got into this, I really, really did love it. And that kept me motivated because there was nothing else. I was a pre-med student for four years, and when I wow. decided to switch from pre-med to theater, I thought, I have to make this work. I love, this is what I love. I'm gonna put all the energy I was putting into medicine into this because this is what I really wanna do. And that gave me the motivation I needed to, to make it work. And it took a lot of time, and it takes a long time. But if you really, really, really love it, then you, you let that passion carry you through. Yeah, a lot of times when I'm feeling like really low, like, uh, and I'm like, is this what I want to be doing? Then I'm like, well, there's nothing else that I want to be doing or that I could do. So, I mean, there are things that I could do, but I wouldn't be happy doing yeah. them. So, that's those are, some, those are some great answers, and I love what you said, you know, your own personal projects, you know, tinkering with what you love. Yeah, play around with it, and you might discover something that's brand new, that's and how, you're bringing it to the community. That's how I ended up making Kingdom Hearts musical puppet show because I just was like I need to do something that I just really love that's just my own thing and then that happened. That's great. All right. It's time for the super super lightning round. Super Ready? Lightning. Set go. Hello. Nice Hi. to meet you. Hi. My name is Lillian, Hi, Lillian and I'm a big fan of your characters but if you didn't get the roles that you had what other characters would you choose to play? In Genshin Impact. Yes. I would play Ushi. Cool. <laughs> Um, who plays Ushi, do you know? Uh, I believe, yeah, I asked, here's, I, I'm sorry, it's supposed to be a super fine. lightning round. I asked the producer the last time I was in, I was like, where do you get the Ushi sounds? Who's, who's doing Ushi? And he was like, I, I don't know, I don't know. And then online, someone told me the Cantonese actor plays, Lu, uh, plays Ushi. And uh, now I want to play Ushi. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh man, yeah, that's cool. Um, I would... Wanna play? I don't know, I love Venti so much. Uh... Wouldn't you be the, the Chili Billy? The, what is it? <laughs> the Hilly Trails? Hilly Trails. Oh, that would ruin my voice. They <laughs> have like this all the time. Ah! Um, no, I would, I would wanna play, I don't know, uh, Kazuba. Yeah. And my boy. <laughs> there you are, there you are. Yeah. Yes, go ahead. Uh, so, in your opinion, I know you don't play the game, but, uh, who is the most sus Archon in regards to Conria and our missing twin? What? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Definitely not Betty. <laughs> um, I don't know. I feel like we haven't met the most sus Archon yet, personally. But I, I might be biased. I just really like uh, all the three that we have so far. So I'm like, they're great. They're good beans. I don't know. Cool. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> super, super lightning round, go! Hello, my name is Ashley. Hi. Uh, Hi. And I dress as your character. I love this. Oh, <laughs> Hello. 
Okay, so thank you so much for the birthday, like, rap thing, <laughs> the beatboxing, because my birthday was two days ago, just turned 18. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! And I just want to ask you two, uh, what was your favorite part about voicing each of your characters? My favorite part? Yeah. Uh, I just love, I, my favorite part, I, I, well, I do have one of the, my favorite lines is the, where he does like the eagle screech or the hawk screech. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. That's fun. I'll do it again. <laughs> We've got to get through these questions. I know, I, I, know. I like everything. Uh, Good answer, yeah. over here. This is fun. Tomorrow, but um, uh, God, what, what was your favorite voice line to say? Like, act. <laughs> Good answer. Uh, thank Barbados. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Next question. Hi, so um, on TikTok a little while ago, the Arataki Ito his birthday thing kind of went viral, and every it was used as kind of like a summoning for Slim Jim spot. Account. People would use it. People would use it, and then Slim Jim would like comment on it because they use the they use the sound. Slim Jim commented on it. Like the company. Yeah, like, yeah, the actual Slim company. Jim. Because people would use it, and they say if you use this sound, you'll summon like Slim Jim, and then they comment on it. How do you wow. feel? How do I feel about I feel it? About yeah. that. I still haven't gotten my free Slim Jim. Yeah. 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 Good answer. Well, we've done it out of time. On no, I know. Team, no, I know. I know. Okay. Team. Okay. Ready? Refresh. Go. Who did you audition for before your current roles? Lots of people, but <laughs> Lisa's the one I remember. Okay. Nobody, just Ito. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I wasn't directly uh, to answer this question, but um, I was there to say it. I'll, I'll mess up. That's the pressure. The pressure. Uh, uh, what are those? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice. Nice. Right, next question. Erica, favorite Dingan Rama character? Uh, myself. Uh, I really like K.A.D.A. a lot. She's so sweet. She's sweet. Three left. Two left. What? Do you guys not like anybody who voice acts inside of Genshin Impact? <laughs> of course not. We love everybody. Do we not like anybody? I love everybody. Yeah, we love everyone. Last question. This is for Erica. If Hunter, if Hunter x Hunter come back to air, would you like to go on again? Heck yes! Please animate more! Karapika the main character is right now! Is that question not for me because you know my character and has no chance of coming back? Well, sucks to be you! I have a great chance. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, you guys! Let's have a big hand for the voice of the Genshin Impact, Max Middleman and Eric Karapika. Thank you so much! Guys, I have... And let's take it back to Atomic Blast! I uh, just want to let you guys know I have a show tomorrow at 6.30. It's called The Lava Show. It's me and uh, my friends Robbie Damon and Ray Chase. We're all voice actors. Uh, it's a fun show with improv and sketch comedy and prizes and uh, audience participation. And I'll see you there. Bye. Yay! Bye, everybody.